The world has changed tremendously. Across the region, the people are rising up and demanding their rights. We are in a kind of fragile social moment in Europe and arguably around the world. Russia's current growth model is no longer effective. Who could have thought that we can topple a regime or a president in 18 days? Young people now more than ever have the capacity to make change politically. From Madrid to Athens, Cairo to Moscow, young people right across these regions want to see where their opportunities are going to come from. You don't want to face a situation where people will be talking about the lost transitions. Young people's patience is running out. There's big differences between the regions. But we now need to see these transformations as opportunities, see the crisis as a new way of doing business. It's really the interconnectedness that is a major opportunity. The location of Russia is very strategic. It can be the center to serve Central and Eastern Europe and the CIS countries. So take those countries together, that's 400 million people. The Maghreb countries need Europe. 60% of exports goes to Europe and 80% of foreign investment stems from Europe. Connectivity is very important and crucial for the integration. Diversity is not a threat, it is actually an opportunity. The Istanbul summit is so important and hugely urgent. Bringing together for the first time ever the regions of Middle East and North Africa, Europe and Russia and Central Asia. This is a time for boldness, not for caution. We are in the throes of historic change coming from the grassroots. This is the beginning of a new era. East will meet West, North will meet South, and Istanbul is where it all began. Thank you.